The primary gateway from mainland China into Hong Kong, Shenzhen, a constant flow of arrivals and departures. Many people here are concerned about the protests in Hong Kong from both sides of the border. Hong Kong is not safe anymore. That's why I'm coming back. My family was worried about my safety. The protest caused inconvenience to local people. I hope it will end soon. The protest caused many inconvenience to local people. I hope this would be ended soon. This is too bad for the image of Hong Kong. Shenzhen received a great deal of international attention earlier in the week when state-run media aired video of columns of paramilitary vehicles and soldiers pouring into the city. They are due to hold, according to the government, a large-scale exercise soon, their deployment clearly meant to send a message to the protesters. The father of China's reform and opening movement 41 years ago, Deng Xiaoping, used Shenzhen to launch his economic reforms. It was also his idea for the one country, two systems approach that's being heavily tested just across the border in Hong Kong. The economic impact from the Hong Kong protests, now in their 11th week, is being felt in Shenzhen. As with elsewhere in mainland China, its stock market had seen negative numbers since the protests moved to the Hong Kong International Airport. But there was one standout, Shenzhen Airport shares soared. It's the closest major airport to Hong Kong, and during the closures this week, some flights were diverted there. The continued turmoil in Hong Kong could make Shenzhen more attractive to airlines and passengers. The airport just received approval to expand, allowing it to nearly double its yearly passenger numbers to 80 million. So while the view from Shenzhen into Hong Kong remains the same, the impact from what's happening across the border is being keenly felt by the people here. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Shenzhen.